hi everyone so welcome back to this channel once again and in this video session i'll be discussing uh, create and write text files on the ifs so we have learned a lot of things from uh, uh, ifs that opens a file read a file write a file close a file uh, error handling and all those things so here we'll be using all those things to create or write our text file so there is a twist here uh, for writing a text file uh, which I'll be explaining you so I just created one example to show you the demo so let me uh, show you that so here comes this program where I am using all those APIs like open, write, close. These are the error handling APIs like error number and error message based upon the error number. So we will be using all these APIs to create our uh, IFS file that is a text file here and uh, then we will be writing that data to the text file. So how we'll be doing that? So first of all, uh, we need to have a file on the IFS. So what we will do? We will create an IFS file. So for creating an IFS file, we will be calling open function in C. So we'll passing the IFS part slash home slash easy class slash text file one dot txt. So we are going to create this file text file one dot txt. Let me show you. Just do work link and you will see there, there is no such file exist on the IFS. So this file will get created and once this created using this flag o underscore create file info file if not exist. Uh, and then once it created we will be opening this file in write only mode as you can see here. So we are, pro we are going to provide the IFS path the o flag opening flag that is create it and uh, open that in write only mode then we will be providing the authorities once we create that that is the oh, I'm, I'm providing all the read write execute authority to the owner only now I'm going to call open which will return me a descriptor file descriptor by taking input the IFS path o flag and mode so you can get the uh, detailed information about the open API in my YouTube channel and uh, there you will be uh, getting the idea of these uh, flags which I am using here as a constant uh, for the opening flags that is read only write only so I am providing those values why uh, so you can get the detailed information there this is the uh, mode thing so where I am providing the authority so Again, you can get this information from my open API video on the YouTube. Now, what is happening here? Once a file gets created and it's opened, we will check whether the file descriptor is less than zero, which means there is an error in creating or opening a file. So, if in case any error, we will first call the error number API, which will return the error number. And based upon that error number, we need to get the message what the message is because we do not interpret that error number that what it says and what actually the message is so we then call str error api um, by passing the error number and it, it will return uh, me the error message so once it is returned we will be returned from the program because there is no way to go further into program and perform right because the file is either not created or created or not open so in case file is existed it will open that in write only mode and if it is not existed it is first get created and then opened in write only mode and these authorities gets assigned to that file once it is created now once the file is open means file descriptor is either zero or greater than zero since this is unique for every file being opened so let's say if i'm opening two file here so first file will get the uh, file descriptor as 0 and the next one will be incremented by 1 that is 1 and so on. So this way we will get the file descriptor 
now we are going to write the data so for writing a data uh, what we saw we we saw the use of open we saw the use of these error apis now for writing the data we will be calling the uh, write api but uh, here is some important things which you must know that once we are going to write our data onto the ifs using the uh, in the form of text file so uh, what happens a text file is basically a continuous stream of bytes again now they 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 are actually uh, what are the data present in the, in the text file they are in the form of line so every line has some text okay and they have some end position or you can say end of line characters means uh, we need to to tell uh, the system that this is the end of line and this next line is going to be on the second line or third line whatever so this way we must have a end of line character with each uh, record, row or each line so that a uh, uh, line can be uh, separated from each other and they can be distinguished now you can see uh, what i am doing is i am first writing ifs text file 1 and then i am separating or i am using the end of line character crlf which denotes the end of line or you can say or better you can say that it's the starting of new line okay and then if i take file 2 crlf and then crlf and then end so what you can do and at the last you can even add crlf or if you want you may not so let's keep it as it is just because it is a start of the new line okay so you can see there are two CRLFs here which are not uh, having some text in between them which means the line is blank. So this way we are going to have one, two, three and three and half uh, here you can say uh, the, the words because uh, at the last that's not the end of line but I would again say that this is the start of the new line. So we are going to have some end of line character in this uh, text file case so what happened some systems uh, accept or use only a character return or some use a uh, line key and in windows we basic uh, in windows the text file basically have two characters cr and cr cr lf both so we will be using the same way because windows uh, is used heavily so what uh, we are going to do is you can see i defined a constant crlf so i defined a hex value of the carry return that is 0d and the hex value of lf that is 25 so this hex value is you can get this hex value from the ebcdif chart Okay, so don't refer the uh, sky sky chart here because you are going to deal with the EBC DIC character set on the IBM app. So you will going to write this 0.25. Now you are going to write such uh, text which is separated by uh, where the line are get separated by CRLF end of line characters, and then we are writing the uh, this data by passing this address of IFS data and size of IFS data and passing the file descriptor which is being opened from the open API. So if write personal size of IFS data is less than return underscore write means whatever the data has been written it is the length has been returned to the return underscore write uh, by after calling this API. So if it is less than some this size it means some data loss so we'll again call the error handling apis to get the number and the error messages and return from the program otherwise what we'll do we will then uh, close the file uh, with by using or by passing the file descriptor and again we'll check for if return underscore close is equals to minus one which means any error in closing the file then we'll call uh, those error apis again to get that errors 
in our error message or a number in our program so this is the whole program uh, which is going to write the text file let's see let's compile this and then we'll debug this program So this program gets compiled successfully. Let's debug this. Let's call this. So this is the path. Let's see whether this file exists. There is no such file exists on the IFS path. We'll pass this flag, this moat, and then we'll call the open API. So the return file descriptor is zero, which means the file gets created and opened successfully. So you can see the file gets created now, which is blank. It's zero, so it not went to the error. Now we are going to write this data IFS text file one CRLS IFS text file two and end. So we will see that the the lines are in different lines or the records are in different lines. So we'll call write API here by passing the descriptor address of this IFS data and size of the IFS data. It will return me four hundred. The size of IFS data here is 400. So it again referring, uh, returning me the 400, which means the data has been run successfully, and there is no error. Let me uh, show you. Now you'll see that the first line, the second line, and this is going to be a. Uh, uh, third line which is blank and the last line okay the last line is again uh, that's the half line because crls is not used there but if you if you use crls as i would again tell you that that's this that's the note or that is specified the starting of next line so if i would use that you will see a uh, next line with such blank because that's uh, specify the start of new line always so but we need to have the CRLF at the last, last so that every line must end and uh, we should recognize this is the end of the line so let's close this API uh, file so we just pass the file descriptor and close the uh, file which is being opened and that's the end of the program So what we'll do, we must always uh, end that's the wrong program I open, that's the correct one. Let's compile this again and then just call this. So you'll see that at the last we are seeing a blank which uh, basically denotes the start of the new line. So this way we are able to create and write the text file on the IFS. So that's all. Uh, the video is so thank you and have a nice time